This is um, an outpost on Mars. This is where the Phoenix landed. And of course, I visualized it all being ice up there and, and canals and so forth. At one time, we thought there was water on Mars. We thought there was canals, and we thought there was water flowing down them and so forth. And of course, today, we know that there's not, because there certainly is life out there. For anyone to believe there's no life in outer space is utterly impossible. Then there's a lot more data involved in, uh, in creating illustrations. Uh, when I would sit down and do it, I would imagine what it looked like and so forth, and I would do it, and there was, there was no one to say that I was wrong. But nowadays, uh, the artists who are doing the renditions and so forth are especially good astronomical artists, uh, their art is based upon the latest facts that they have received back from, 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 the, uh, uh, from the probes that are being sent out to the planets. The social and political implications that's going to be involved in it are immense. Uh, one thing would be of our freedoms, you know, we've got to determine what freedoms do we give up. Um, and there are going to be, have to be quite a few freedoms that we do give up because when you get into a spaceship and you go off into space, uh, I mean, it's a ship. You've got to have a captain of a ship. You know, it's not going to be a democracy like, like, we, like we know today.